Hi, it's Chris. A lot of the monuments in the cemetery have finials that are broken or missing. I want to see if I can go ahead and make some replacements. Here's a broken finial. It was on the ground for a while. Looks like it got hit by the lawnmower. I'm going to use my RevoPoint POP2 scanner to get a profile of it. Because the optic isn't constrained along the long axis, I'm going to put a bunch of crumpled paper on the table to help constrain it. I loaded the scan and sketched the perimeter of the part and rotated it along the long axis to get a 3D part. I then made a cylinder larger than this part and subtracted this out of it to make a mold. So here's one half of the mold. The cement's going to be poured in from the top here. I made it two, it's actually made in four parts. There's a seam here just because of the large part won't fit on my 3D printer. And then we have the other two sides. These four parts are very large. Each took a spool of filament and over two days to print. After two and a half days, the last piece is printed. This time I put support in here because on the other side, it was a little bit rough underneath this underhang here. So it took a little bit longer with the support to print. I've got the 3D mold that I printed. Uh, I had to do it in four pieces because they were so large I couldn't fit one piece on my printer. First thing I'm going to do is put some petroleum jelly in all along the inside of the mold to work as a release agent. I've got the two major halves. They're all vaseline and now I'm going to put them together and tape them. Got the four pieces taped together, and that's where I'm going to pour the cement. It's going to be a little bit of a learning curve with the different concrete mixes. I'm going to start out by trying to use this rapid set mix. It sets up in about 15 minutes. If that works, then I could do more molds per day. I've got some rebar foot longs, and I'm going to put one piece down the center here to give it strength because a lot of the uh, different finials that were broken broke right on that thin piece there. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need to make. So on the first try I'm going to use a lot, make a lot of extra so that I don't run out. pretty soupy so that it can flow into the mold. All right. That's what it looks like. Let me go ahead and try to pour it in. Well, here's my first failed attempt at the mold. I just had tape and the 20 pounds of cement was too much for it, it broke. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is go get some stainless steel rings. After my first failure, I used um, some stainless steel um, clamps and I made some aluminum bars that have angles at the end. And the idea is that that will hold the two halves together and also keep the 
top and bottom pieces from moving too much. Okay, I've mixed up the cement pretty loosely. Well, this particular brand of concrete sets up in 15 minutes. The bracing seems to have held. So tomorrow we'll come out and see if it comes out of the mold or not. Now the second one came out pretty well. Let's get some voids where there were air bubbles. I think I can fill those in. I just mixed up a little bit more of cement and I'm just gonna fill little holes that are the air pocket holes. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. You can see the concrete one compared to the original marble piece. I've got some joint tight um, setting compound which I'm going to use to put the finial on top of the monument. I just cleaned the monument with D2 so hopefully it will lighten up a bit. Well I better get going making five more before the cold weather gets here. If this project was helpful please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.